Here's the second example of Monte Carlo simulation. Let's find pi value today. The first uh, generate random x and y points that lies inside the square. That is, x and y are uniformly random number between 0 to uh, 0 and uh, length L for x and y. And then just count the number of the random points that lie inside the circle and compute the ratio of the number inside the circle and the square. Then the finally we got the answer pi equals 4 times total number of points inside the circle over the total number of points inside the square. The equation can be easily derived like this way. Basically, uh, you can compare the, the area of ratio to the uh, circle area and then square area. And in our problem, we have the same value of the radius all and length L. So we come up with uh, the four times N circle over N square. Here's the one example of the Monte Carlo simulation result. I just want up to 10 to the 8 number. Uh, then we got finally pi as 3.14171. It's not that much good number, but if you look at the, uh, the, the points in the graph, then even if we run 10,000 number of Monte Carlo simulation, then the, the blue and the red points looks good but we got that much good number so this means basically finding pi value using simple Monte Carlo simulation is not good method but it's just just the example how to use Monte Carlo simulation next page show how to implement Monte Carlo simulation using the Python code. I first import the numpy and matplot library module and assign the total number of Monte Carlo simulation and then just make a uniform distributed random number using rand command for x and y and check the uh, the radial distance using a simple distance equation and and check the uh, location of that point inside circle and then calculate the uh, the total count of inside of circle then you got the value of pi uh, this Python code simply are uh, using this Python code and then I just using uh, uh, multiple calculation. Let's check the real Python code using PyCharm. Let's check the 10,000 uh number okay here I go run my monte carlo simulation zero three okay we get the graph and we we get the uh pi value three point one three two next uh, let's run the 
Python code up to 10 to the 8 number, then you get the feeling of how fast the Python code calculate simulation. Okay, it's running. 10 to the A number is a very big number, right? Here you go. Uh, we got a, diff a little bit different to graph, mm. but this is because the random number. I didn't fix to see it, right? Okay. Thank you. Next time, I'm going to review another example of Monte Carlo simulation. Bye.